crazy when it comes to boxing it just gives me hunger strength and drive it's just part of my lifestyle Michael Lebrecht here from Players Tribune came in, looked at uh, some video today with Charlie Villanueva. Uh, excited to get his perspective on things, and uh, we got the very talented videographer, photographer Michael Lebrecht here. He's done many, many NBA guys. Uh, and talk a little bit about what you did today. Including Charlie, like 14, 15 years ago at the ABCD camp. So it was great to come back and work with him in this environment. Um, thanks to Mo and the Player Tribune, it was awesome to be part of it. Charlie's doing his thing and uh, keeps on up, man. He's gonna get back in there and, and make it happen. Motion wrapped it up. Interview. Dope. Dope, dope, dope interview. Dope photo shoot. It's a wrap. Yeah. Peace. When I first met Charlie, he was, uh, you know, he was a young kid trying to have the dream of making it to the NBA. But, uh, you know, he, he took, he, he had a, a long road to get to where he is, and uh, you know, I'm proud of him. Charlie actually grew up playing with Smush Parker, uh, Lenny Cook, in the area. From a, uh, from a New York City standpoint, Sebastian Toflia, guys like that. But from, uh, a national standpoint, he used to play a lot against Carmelo Anthony. Um, growing up, you know, against LeBron and 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 uh, just everybody that's basically in the league. So, you know, they have a mutual respect because they know, you know, growing up he was one of the top five players in the nation, and uh, you know he just just hasn't really gotten the chance to, to really play his game. I think I got here to this point what I am by not working hard, by not taking care of my body, by being lazy. Like, what guy do you know has made it to the NBA all his life by being lazy? It's unheard of. It's not possible. So, to the point where I'm at now, yeah, I worked hard to get here. Um, and whatever the perception is, I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, whatever it is, I mean, it is what it is. But sit down, have a conversation, get to know it. See that I'm very passionate about this. You know what I mean? I'm like my my personality. I'm not a rah rah kind of guy. I'm a laid back kind of guy, and sometimes people get that misconstrued. You no, know, I think with me is is opportunity and having a good relationship with a coach. I think a coach plays a big deal on uh, on me. You know, and uh, I think that having communication. Like, if you look at my careers, like, you know, high school, college, you know, 
my best year was in Milwaukee with Scott Skiles. You know, I had a great relationship with him, you know, and and I, I can't say that about the other coaches that I've been coached. You know, so to me is opportunity and have a good relationship with the coach. We don't have no problems. I think I, I would definitely excel in that situation. But don't get me wrong, like I'm not saying I'm not putting the blame on someone else, but I look at myself, you know. Yeah, but there's you a can't, lot. You can't sub yourself in the game though, baby. Yeah, you're right. I can't sub myself in the game. You're right. But at the same time, you know, at times I will let that frustrate me. Mm -hmm. And I'll be down on myself rather than continue working, just keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. Yeah, but how many days can you keep and working and not play? I feel you. I, I feel mean, you. I mean, you're working hard day after day you. after day. Now you're not getting in. So what do you do? I feel No, no, I what feel What do you do? It. No, no, I feel you. What I feel do you. Do? But that's that, that I learned that as I got older. I just feel like I still got a lot of basketball left. And plus, you know, I feel like the past two years I haven't really played. You know, that's, you know, I'm 30 now, but that's 28 right there, you know, and then plus, you know, my second year in the league, I had a shoulder injury that I was out for basically a whole year as well, so, you know, I'm still young. I'm 30, but my body feels like I'm 26. He's a young 30. Today's his 30th birthday. He's a young 30, and uh, I think, you know, wherever he ends up this year will be, uh, you know, they'll probably get the CV in his prime. Things work, man. The day of my birthday, my 30th birthday. Gotta go out, get this workout in. Gotta get this job, man. Day of my birthday, I'll be on the plane. Siento muy contenta, mi hijo, porque hoy hoy día cumple un año más. Te deseo lo mejor, muchas felicidades y que Dios te me cuide. My way to the airport. I'm about to get a workout in. Got to meet with the team. See how it goes. Gonna spend a couple of days out there. It's looking real good. My highlights out there. 